Welcome to this brief demonstration of EdgeCam's probing capability. Touch probes on CNC machines can be used for a range of tasks, such as to assist with component setup, to measure features for in-process machine adjustment, or verifying finished component dimensions on the CNC machine. Used properly, touch probes contribute toward reduced CNC machine setup time, improved part quality, and increased productivity. Touch probes are widely available for installations on older CNC machines and are often included with new CNC machines. However, many companies do not use the touch probes on their CNC machines effectively, missing out on the potential benefits. This is typically due to a lack of understanding of the programming syntax for probing and the reality that many CAM software packages do not support probing. As a result, Programming touch probes is left to be a setup responsibility done at the CNC machine, or it's not done at all. The potential productivity benefits of touch probe systems are not realized when probing isn't an integral part of the G-code file created by the CAM system. EdgeCAM's probing capability allows the programmer to directly create probe cycles inside the CAM environment this is done in the same way that any other milling or drilling tool path is handled. The probe motion is simulated, just like any other tool path, allowing the EdgeCam user to produce reliable, edit-free CNC code that integrates both probing and tool path. EdgeCam supports both Renishaw and MH applications. EdgeCam's probing technology is fully integrated with the Million software. CodeWizard MillPost processors support probing as standard capability. Users can add the appropriate probe system and can adjust code output settings as desired. Probe tools can be stored in the ToolStore database. And probe cycles are provided as part of the standard machining commands. These probe cycles are similar to other events in the machining sequence, allowing the user full control of the probe commands and simulation that accurately predicts CNC machine movement with full collision avoidance checking. The requirements are a compatible CNC machine equipped with a touch probe, the appropriate probing option enabled on your EdgeCam license, and a properly configured post processor. Let's demonstrate how probe cycles are built in EdgeCam. This part has toolpath built. We'll be adding probing commands to it. Let's turn off the display of the machine and look at the work holding setup. Notice the material's held in a vise and there's a tool presetter that we don't want to collide with to the right side. When we turn off the fixture display, we can see that the stock is a rectangular stock with zero in the upper left hand corner and the part is a prismatic part. We'll be using the probe to both set zero and inspect some of the part features. We'll begin with selecting a probe, just like we do with any other piece of EdgeCam toolpath. Notice that there's a probe category. When we go out to the tool database, we can pick a probe right from the database. And I want to point out that the software understands that probes need to be run with the spindle stopped. That's been set automatically to keep us out of trouble. When we go ahead and Press OK and add the tool. Next we'll build the appropriate probe command. Notice that there's probe cycles in the menu and we can choose the one that best matches what we need to do. In this case, that's to probe the corner of the part. So I'll fill out the dialog box with appropriate values, just like we would for any other EdgeCam command. And then I'll indicate to the software what type of a function we're going to be doing with the probe. In this case, we're going to update 
select the work coordinate system and we're going to select the G54 system. After pressing OK, we're prompted for the corner to probe and we'll go grab the corner of the stock. Immediately, the software builds the probe tool path that we have asked for and we can simulate that probe motion and see where the probe is going to be hitting the part. In order to complete the work setup, I want to also pick up the z-axis coordinate. So we'll probe the surface. Again, I'll fill out the box with the values that I wish to use. Explain the type of probe we're doing. And then input the coordinate to probe the surface at. In this case, I'll use keyboard input. Again, we can see the simulation, see what the probe's going to do. We'll be done with the probe at this stage, so I'll move the probe to tool change. And these events should begin at the top of the list. So we're going to go ahead and move the commands up to the top of the instruction list. So they happen at the beginning of the program sequence. Once machining is done, we want to continue to use the probe, so we'll call back the probe, but this time we'll use it for part inspection. So in this case, I'm going to use a web pocket, and I'm going to probe the outside of the part, the two flats along the y-axis, and pick up the uh, part dimensions. So we'll, again, we'll instruct the software what we want the probe to be doing. We're also going to add in an option for tolerance, and that will be output on the probe code and then we'll go select the points that we wish to probe using the web pocket option. As before, toolpath is built. We can see the toolpath on the screen. And now what I want to do is I want to go probe this surface with a bore boss type probe. So again, we'll choose the appropriate probe function. We'll assign suitable parameters and instruct the software about what we're intending to do. After selecting OK, we'll select the edge to probe, and the software goes and builds a probe that hits at four points. Let's say that we want to change that and only hit at three. I can go and edit the command just like any other edge cam machining cycle, fill out values, and I've now probed in three places. Let's generate CNC code. We've added probing to this sequence at the top of the program to update work coordinate systems, and at the end of the program to inspect part dimensions. We can see, looking at the G-code, that the probe syntax is at the start, followed by CNC code for milling, and at the end of the program is probe syntax for verifying our part dimensions, including the 5,000th tolerance that we requested. EdgeCam Workflow provides out-of-the-box probing capability as a standard part of the software, enabling users to create probe motion just like any other toolpath for their CNC milling machines.